Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the powerful capabilities of NHV Boot and guide you through the process of cloning your SSD to a larger and faster NVMe drive using EaseUS Partition Master. Upgrading to an NVMe drive can significantly improve your computer's performance without losing any data or going through the hassle of reinstalling Windows. With our easy-to-follow step-by-step instructions, you'll be able to smoothly clone your SSD and experience lightning-fast boot times and increased storage capacity. Before we begin, it's important to note that NVMe drives offer a remarkable speed advantage over traditional SSDs, making them a worthwhile investment for an enhanced computing experience. Just ensure that your motherboard supports NVMe drives before proceeding. The NHV Boot Toolkit provides various versions tailored to specific needs, so make sure to choose the standard version for this process. To create a bootable USB flash drive, we'll also need Rufus 4.2 portable version from the Rufus website. This utility is incredibly handy for formatting and creating bootable drives, and it's a lightweight tool with a file size of only 1.4 megabytes. Now, Plug in an empty USB flash drive as it will be formatted during the process and erasing any existing data. After downloading Rufus, select the ISO file you obtain from the NHV boot and proceed with the setup by clicking start. After Rufus completes the process, restart the computer, access BIOS settings, and select the bootable USB we just created to boot from. Once inside the NHV boot environment, launch EaseUS Partition Master and click on Disk Clone followed by Clone OS Disk. This option will efficiently copy all data including Windows OS from your SSD to the new NVMe drive. Select the destination disk, which should be the larger NVMe drive. Here, you can choose either Auto Fit the Disk or Clone as the Source to set up the destination disk layout. Auto Fit automatically extends the Windows system partition to maximize space, saving you from manual adjustments. Click on Start to initiate the cloning process. And depending on the disk sizes and system speed, the process may take some time. Don't worry, EasyUS Partition Master will handle everything automatically, ensuring a successful clone. Once the cloning process completes, you will be prompt with two options to boot your computer with the new NVMe drive. You can either unplug the source disk and use the same slot for the new disk or change the system boot order in your computer's BIOS. Now, follow these two simple steps to change the boot order in your computer BIOS. Step 1. Restart the computer and press the designated key, usually F2 or Delete, to enter the BIOS. On your computer, you might need to refer to the manufacturer on how to access the BIOS. Step 2. Navigate to the Advanced Settings or Boot Priority List section and ensure the new NVMe disk is set as the priority number 1. Don't forget to save the settings before exiting the BIOS. And it should now boot from the new NVMe drive. Once you're in the operating system, verify that everything looks and functions as expected. Check that the C drive on the NVMe drive reflects the larger capacity of 476GB, indicating a successful clone. Additionally, confirm that Windows is activated and running smoothly on the new NVMe drive. As an added bonus, EaseUS Partition Master offers a range of other features you can explore. For instance, you can delete partitions on the old SSD, and create new ones for data storage, further optimizing your setup. And congratulations, you have successfully cloned your small SSD to a blasting fast 512GB NVMe drive using EaseUS Partition Master WinPE Edition. Enjoy the increased storage and improved performance. 
That wraps up today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.